Um, Tammy says in land flipping, how do you market a contract? So here's the curveball question, right? And do you have a sample you can provide? Yeah, and I prepared some notes for this too. So let me just show you. Um, I'm going to post these in the chat for uh, Tammy. I don't know if Tammy's here, but she can catch it on the replay. Um, so how do you market a contract? Well, you market a contract by, first of all, you just market the property, but in your language, in the marketing, when marketing a property for sale, when you're selling a contract, right? You're not, you're not the, the owner of the property, you're contract owner, which means you own your, you have equitable interest in the property through a purchase and sale agreement that you have as buyer with the seller, but now you're contract owner. And as long as your contract, your purchase and sale agreement with the seller states clearly that you have the right to market the property once it's under contract to market the property to anybody uh, for in any way um, for any reason right and again there's language in my contract that I used that stated that uh, then you can then go out and market the property for sale as long as you disclaim in the marketing copy the language of the the uh, description of the you know listing or whatever that you are contract owner and you're you're marketing the contract for sale for an assignment fee. I'll give you an example. So here are one of my previous listings on Facebook Marketplace that I sold. Um, one of the properties that I sold, I, I, I bought, I flipped like 32 properties in um, about two years, uh, vacant land parcels in about two years. Here's one of them. This is one of my listings. And so you can see where I talk about this right here. It says, note, this is a contract for sale for an assignment fee which is already built into the sale price. So as long as you disclaim that, then you can market the contract for sale. You're not selling the property, you're selling the contract, the purchase agreement, and you're marking it up for an assignment of contract fee. So that's what you're doing. You never become property owner when you sell, when you flip properties through a con an assignment of contract, you never become property owner. So you don't get hit with capital gains tax and all the other shit that occur, well, all the additional tax uh uh, red tape that you go, you, you know, that you're subjected to. If you buy and sell property, it puts you in a different tax bracket. It creates a whole bunch of additional paperwork for your CPA or your, or, or whatever your accountant. Um, and I learned the hard way. And so I learned it's much, much easier just to sell a contract for an assignment fee. All right. So here, so I'm going to, I'll post that in there when I post the other link too. So here's an example. This is the ass assignment agreement that I used. Um, I've just left my company name in there. This is the template that I would use for all contracts that I would, uh, when I, whenever I get a property on a contract, then I would go list it in Facebook marketplace and a few other places. And then I would always have that right there. And then when people would start calling or, you know, sending Facebook post messages or whatever, uh, asking me about the property, then I had canned responses that I would keep in a Google keep file, just like you're seeing here. And I would answer, like I had a listing, uh, this domain is now expired because I don't, I don't, I don't flip properties now. Uh, but uh, I used to have a selling site where I would have the full listing information about the property, additional photos, and I had a VA team that would go out and create a bunch of images, um, like aerial images, and then do the out property outline and show the coordinates on each of the property corners and all that kind of stuff. And all of that would be listed on the sales page that was on my sale selling site. And so whenever I would get a Facebook uh, marketplace message when somebody would say, hey, is this still available or whatever, I would just go copy and paste that right there for each property, I'd have this in this keep file. And I would just paste it into the message. And it would clearly state if you have any additional questions, because I wanted to get people off of Facebook. Mo on Facebook Marketplace, by the way, you get a ton of tire kickers. You'll get a ton of people inquiring about the property that will never, never have any intent on buying the property. And so I learned very quickly to not spend a lot of time answering questions on Facebook. If they're serious, they will take the conversation off of Facebook. And so I learned very quickly to just post the listing, the like a little bit of an, it, in my reply, that's why I called this the canned reply, Facebook Marketplace canned response, because I would just keep every property that I had available or that I was selling uh, in this notepad file with this little line of text in between these, you know, these markers here. And then I would just, when somebody would ask, is, hey, is this still available? I would just copy this, paste it in, and that's it. And if they continued to ask questions in uh, Facebook Marketplace, I would just send this again, send this, this line again. Boom. If you have any additional questions, please email me or provide me with your contact info and I'll call you. Because again, I wanted to get them off of Facebook. If if they got, if they took the conversation off Facebook, that was, it showed me that they were, they were interested enough that they might be serious, if that's clear. If they refused to take the question, the comments or questions off of Facebook, then you're shit out of luck. You're not going to get to buy my property. Does that make sense? Uh, so anyways, here's the assignment agreement. This is the same one that I used every time. Obviously you want to swap that out for your 
corporation's name or whatever entity you're using to purchase properties. And then you just fill this out. Um, again, this is the exact assignment agreement. And I use this on 30 some land flips and never had any issues with it whatsoever. Uh, now this is, this was, this has been, um, uh, tested and proven to, to work in the state of Virginia because all I, I, Every piece of land that I flipped was in the state of Virginia, except for one that was in West Virginia. Um, and this this worked in the state of Virginia. So if you're in a different state, you're probably going to want to have this re, uh, reviewed by a local real estate attorney to make sure that this is valid in your particular state. OK, so anyways, I'm going to give you guys the copy uh, doc. Uh, this is the Google Doc, but this is the copy link. So you can copy, make a copy of this in your own Google Drive. And then I would make I would encourage you to. Um, uh, save the original and then always just make a copy of the original whenever you're going to edit it for actual use. Hopefully that's clear. Now, I know a lot of you don't give a damn about that, so I apologize, but it was a question and I like answering those land questions. So there you go. Um, let's see, why did I not? Okay, this is land. Let me just put a modifier in there. No, I, apparently I missed it. It doesn't like these long URLs, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that shit or not. Maybe not, but we'll try to put it in the replay. Anyway, I'm going to move on because we still got a few more questions and we're going to run out of time. Hopefully that's clear. Do you have a sample you can provide? Yes, I did. Uh, how do you market the contract I just showed you? You just market the property for sale like you normally would market if, if you act as if you owned it, but just disclaim in your marketing language somewhere that you're not the owner, you're the contract owner. Just be clear about that. Okay.